Hello world and all my friends and subscribers out there. So today I'm going to be testing out um, Liquitex Basics acrylic paints um, just to have a look at their properties. And uh, that's because I'm going to be using them in a demonstration where I am going to be talking about uh, combating streakiness um, and using Liquitex paints in general as paints that you would use to paint your minis. Okay, so I'm starting off here with um, the, four, the three primaries in white. I don't have black um, in Liquitex Basics, but according, I mean, I think that we would be safe to say that it would be quite a good black paint. So I'll just move these out of the way. So the paints I have are Titanium White, Primary Red, Primary Blue and Primary Yellow. So there's a few things that I discovered when using these, but I'll talk about them in a second. So I'll just get you in frame here so you can see properly what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm going, um, this is paint straight from the tube and I'm going to be just using a dry brush to pick up the colour and use it like I did on the last ones. Already you can see a marked difference between the cheap reuse acrylics and Liquitex. Basics titanium white. Um, next, we will go with the primary red. And I don't know if you can actually pick it up on camera, but this red, in my opinion, is not red at all. Um, and that's why I've left a little gap underneath. And what I'm going to be doing is showing you which red I would recommend for a good primary red because this red is definitely not a good primary red. Also the coverage of red is not great but then again coverage of red isn't great anyway. So let's try the primary blue. Also, my opinion. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. My camera cut off for some reason. So, yes, great, wonderful. Anyway, so when it cut off, I was talking about the primary blue and how I didn't think it was a great primary blue. And as you can see, the difference between this, which is the primary blue, and the ultramarine blue which is what I used instead, um, which is this one here. Um, you can see there's a market difference. Like this blue is more bright, um, like the sea on a really nice day, and this one is more like a deep blue that you would expect when you wanted to paint a blue cloak or something like that. So I also did the primary yellow, which it's just yellow really. It is a lot nicer and brighter than the cheaper version of Reeves. Um, yeah, but I'll see if I can get you close up and see if you can actually see the difference, if it helps you see the difference in the colors. Okay. So as you can see the white has got pretty good coverage. Um, of course you would need to go over a couple of times because it still is um, not a professional type paint but um, yeah they still work pretty well the yellow of course is just uh, what you would expect but it has a nice color to it so what I also did was while I was waiting for this to dry, I was talking about other things, about the Liquitex paints, and what I was 
talking about was that on the backs of the tubes, on these higher um, or better quality paints, they have, um, so this is the primary red and this is the cadmium. And on the backs, you can actually find a little box that says transparent or opaque. So you can't probably read them, but I'll take some photographs for you. Um, but that really does help when you're choosing paints to, um, to really get good coverage, like on a base layer or something like that. So uh, I would really recommend having a look at that if you were trying to get really good coverage. Um, so when using Liquitex Basics, I did some test paints on some shields that I'm going to be using uh, in my next video, which is um, going to be talking about, I don't know if I mentioned it already or not, just um, combating streakiness and things like that. And what I found was when you water down these paints, the, um, the medium in them is quite jelly-like. And they can't they don't quite get to the right consistency that you would need to have a really thin coat it kind of stays quite gel like and I'll show that in my video when I use it to paint the shields but yes I don't know Liquitex basics might not be a great paint to use if you are going to be thinning down your paints just because the medium is the way it is but I'm going to be doing um, a video on it anyway because I know some people do use them. And so we will um, have a look and try and combat the issues that people face when they're using this paint. So um, thank you so much for watching and I just wanted to say hello to my new subscribers out there. I have got quite a few uh, new subscribers recently which I'm very grateful for and thank you so much. Um, Please subscribe uh, if you haven't already and click the thumbs up button if you like this video uh, so that I know you liked this video. And um, yeah, stay tuned to the next one. And uh, yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you later. Okay, bye. And that's a really good, like really dark kind of rust color mixed with a bit of orange is the perfect.